How's it going guys? My name's Sean and today I'm doing a tutorial on a password protected door with a computer. Basically I'm doing this tutorial because I had a few problems figuring it out myself. Like looking on YouTube and stuff and basically I wanted to show you. Basically this is what it's going to do like that. You enter the password. Door opens. Simple. Um, uh, the door will shut. It I've set a timer on mine 10 seconds. That's why it's taking so long to shut, well basically it was shut, there you go. You can't break the door, alright then you can because I'm on um, creative mode, damn it, I forgot about that. Poop. Shit, I'm on recipe mode now. Fail that, fail that. Um, get that off, put the door on. Door. Check it still works. There you go, door opens, gonna have to get a block. And patch that up. Door is shut. If I just go on, if I don't, let me just turn that back. Basically, if I try to break the door in survival or adventure mode, it just won't break. Basically, is one I just set off. There's the code. If you want to pause it and just um, enter that straight away, or you can watch me do it. Um, I'll just give it a few seconds so you can, you know, pause it and so on. Right. Anyway, now I'll just show you it works. Hopefully, I hope it works. If you once you saved it, just type it to start up, and there you go. Into password. My the password. See, I haven't really left any space. Password sure access granted. Door opens. Shut. There you go. Basically, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There's my horses, and I got a lion. Cause I'm on Tech It Light at the minute. Um, and I've installed mole creatures and stuff like that. Anyway, right, let's just stop. let's go down to where I'm making. Well, gonna be start building my lab soon. Here's my storage area. I've got two floors, one there, and there's one down there. But labs this way. It's not very big. I haven't really done it. And as you can see, it's right. So anyway, let's get let's put all this back. Get rid of all that. I don't need it. Right. What you're gonna need, um, oh, oh. you can't see anything in my inventory because it's all black. Right. What you're gonna need to make the computer is redstone, a glass panel, and stone. You place stone all the way around. Then you put the red. I think it's like this. You put redstone in the middle, glass panel, and there you, go, you get your computer. Yeah, whatever. Right, anyway, so now what we want, we can use this block. Um, you put the, oh, we need a door, that would help. You put the door down, whatever, put the computer there. Right, now you right click on the PC, this start, this comes up. Now what you want to do, you want to type in edit startup. And then, basically, I'm not going to, I'll only explain parts of the code which are important, you just need to copy me, I'll tell you what you can input whenever, like, so, yeah, let's go. So yeah, I'm slow at this. Basically, the side you want, the, the, um, the door is, you know, it's on the left, so, then you have a password. Basically this one, you enter the password, whatever you want the password to be. I'm just going to put my name, I don't really care. Normally I won't use my name, don't worry. But, you know, it's simple. But it could be anything you want, then you uh, write. I hope I'm doing this right. No, I'm not. Then you write, basically, this box is... So I've got a bit of cold, a bit of a cold. Um, this is what's gonna come up when you go to enter your password. So just put something like enter password fail or I don't know um, input password whatever you like. And you want to put local input read. There don't need to be a space between any of this after the thingy mark. Basically, that, like X, well, it's a star, it's the star above the number 8 on the keyboard. So you just hold shift and press 8 and that, you'll get it. 
if you don't know. Next part, if you want to know, you want to put if import. Basically, if this is the if it's the right password, then it will open. So you want to put if import equals twice, then password in brackets, then term dot clear. Yeah. Um, right. Basically, this is what it's going to write if the password's successful. If it's right. So I'm just going to pour. You can put anything you want in this, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put access approved. Because it sounds, you know, good. And then you want to put RS, which stands for redstone. Set. And then output. Output has to have a capital O. Otherwise, it will not work. Set out port basically, then you want to put the side comma. No one ever says this is you have to put a comma if you don't know, then true. You have to have a space after the comma in true. So you know, you go down, sleep. This is how long if it works, you want it to start up again, like the door to stay open. Basically, you just put. Just put four, something like that, I don't know, three, whatever you want. You want to put RS dot set output. Again, you want to do basically the same, but this time, this time you want to put false instead of true, and you don't need a space this time. I don't know why you need a space, but you need one, unfortunately. And then you want to put RS dot reboot. Like that, and then you want to type in else. Basically, this is if it's wrong. You want to put term dot clear. That before. Then you want to write space. And basically, what you want to do, you want to just put if you the code's wrong, you just want to put an like error message saying wrong code. So just put access denied. Like I said before. Again, you can just write anything in there, it doesn't really matter. It's what's going to show up when you get the password wrong. And you want to make it sleep. I think I got that right, yeah, did I? Yep, two. Just put two to do. Then you want to put always start reboot. And then end, and that, that basically that's it. That's all the code you need. Um. We'll see if I go it, because I've had a few problems with this myself in the past. Like I've done it, everything the same, it's not worked. I'll keep getting a biased message up saying that it's something that's expected, but I don't know where to put it. Save it. You can, if you had a printer, you can also print it off on paper, but... Well, basically on Minecraft paper, not real life printer, you know. Um, so if you just save that, go to exit, start up. There we go, enter password. Just put the right password in. Shut. Doors open. You're shut. Right. So you get the password wrong. If I just put anything. Access denied. There you go. So basically, that's all you need. There we go, password door. Basically, if you want to in. You're like, oh no, the screen's on the other side. But if you just right click it, it works. Just type password back in again. Doors open, you can go through. Let me just go around on the other side. And basically, that's it, guys. So, thank you for checking out this tutorial. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.